If you're looking for a deck that gives you some straight up wins if everything goes right and gives you some contingency plans if you're not getting the cards or locations you want, this is my favorite deck that I'm using to climb up the rankings right now. And if you're ready to see it along with some gameplay, when things don't always go right, well, that is what we're talking about in this video. And if you're ready for it, Valley Club, you know what to do. Find that like button. Let's go smash it. Valley Club. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Club? I am Valley Flying. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I hope you're having a great day. We are talking all about Marvel Snap in this video and my favorite deck that I'm using right now to climb up the rankings. And we actually have a lot of gameplay footage from stream when things didn't go exactly right, when we didn't get the cards we wanted, when we didn't get the locations we wanted, we were still able to win with this deck. So without further ado, let's go check out what the deck is. And then I'm gonna show you some gameplay examples from the stream this morning where things didn't exactly go right, where we are still able to win with this deck. And if we go onto snapzone.com, we will see that this is a Black Panther deck. Started to build this, and I saw a few decks floating around with Black Panther. Made some changes just based on using this a lot and winning some, losing some. And this is the lineup that I have find that uh, is the ideal for me. And it is a pool two deck. So obviously, if you have pool three options like Armin Zola, Wong, you can make this deck even better. If you're in pool one, Black Panther doesn't work. And this deck is primarily based around the new season pass card, Black Panther. And it starts off with Iceman here. Now, normally what I'd like to do is get this on turn one so that what we can do is give our enemies cards costing a little more energy, one more energy per that kind of trolls them, doesn't, uh, and uh, sometimes it screws up their entire hand. So Iceman. Iceman on turn one is what we'll get ideally, but a lot of times we don't get that first turn uh, pulled. Also on turn two, we have a few different options. The ones that I like the best are usually Okoye because she's gonna give all the cards in your deck more power. Now, if the card is in your hand, such as Black Panther, a card that we really wanna play in your hand, uh, this one isn't as good, and hopefully we could use our Scorpion here because when he is revealed, he is gonna give the cards in your opponent's hand and one less power. So more and more trolling that we're doing for our opponents. Now, sometimes in a pinch, we could use Mr. Sinister in conjunction with a character a card like Ironheart, which is gonna increase all of the cards. Uh, it's gonna give your three friendly cards plus two power there. So Ironheart is a good combo with Mr. Sinister, but Forge works very well with Black Panther also works very well with Mr. Sinister because if you play Forge, you're gonna get plus two power for the next card you play. Mr. Sinister is then gonna be a two four and then he's gonna double that to another four, which makes him effectively a two eight when you play that Forge card. Uh, Ironheart gives the uh, energy uh, excuse me, it gives power to three of your random cards. So I normally like playing this when I have more cards on the deck, like something with Mr. Sinister. Now the key to this deck are these two cards. The play that I really like is Storm to lock down a location. And if you don't have Storm yet, well, what she does is she floods the location, which is the next turn, which means that the next turn, you're not gonna be able to play any cards or the next turn is the last card you're gonna be able to play there. So normally what I like to do is follow Storm up with Jessica Jones, which means that uh, if you're not playing a card there after she's put there, which you can't if you use Storm, uh, you're gonna get a four eight there. So very, very good value. So I like to stack all of those on one lane. And then for the last lane, that's what I like to follow it up with a Black Panther and then Odin, but we also have America Chavez in the mix because what she does on turn six, you're gonna draw that cord. Unless it gets deleted by your opponent, you're gonna get uh, America Chavez on turn six, which means that you're effectively, for the first few turns, playing with that 11 card deck because you know that America Chavez is there for the end. Now, if we can get Ironheart, Black Panther, and Odin on the same node, that works out very, very good for us. So let's go take a look at this deck in action and we also have Shang-Chi there because Shang-Chi can delete some Black Panthers. He can delete those devil dinosaurs. If you run into it, if not, he can delete those as well. And uh, if you save those for the last turn, when your opponent's not expecting it, you could get some uh, really good results. I know if I have gotten uh, surprised by Shang-Chi in matches that I thought I was gonna win and he pops up I'm like, oh, 
I forgot about Shang-Chi. So this deck gives you a lot of versatility. Like I said, we were using this on stream and was helping us climb up the rankings. So let's go take a look at some of these matches. Jessica Jones, Blade. Blade, Blade was a... Blade's a weird one, a Quake. This is a card we haven't seen before. This is the middle of the case. Swap the positions of each location. I don't think we're gonna use Quake. I think Quake's gonna stay in our hand. All right, so they got two random possible pool three cards from their Agent 13 and their Quake. All right, so let's go with, since we don't have Black Panther out yet, let's go with a Koye here, and then hopefully we'll follow up with a Storm. And if we get Jessica Jones to pop, we could steal this uh, hub here. They go middle with Squirrel Girl. All right, that's, that's actually really good for us, giving only one power there. All right, what? Do we get here morph? Oh, that's an interesting one. Wonder. It looks like they're playing a Khazar deck. All right, let's gamble a little bit. Let's play the let's play the storm card now. If Jessica Jones pops, good. If not, we could gamble a little bit more and play that morph there. See what happens. Okay, they go morph in the middle and oh man. All right, oh, that's actually that doesn't affect us too much. So they have a Quake as well. Okay, so it's not a seven turn game anymore. We could go the Morph right here. That could be something big. Let's let's gamble. Let's see what's in their hand. All right, because we get Black Panther here. And then we get something else. If we get an Odin to come up. All right, so they're going to take away middle. We get a Rocket. They're technically winning. What card do we get from Morph? Get a Sinister. Oh, man. Okay, so we have, a, uh, we have a play right here, but we're not guaranteed to win. Let's do this. This might this might get us this side right there. Okay, so and then we go Quake. Let's, let's see what happens with this. Oh, they're going Devil Dinosaur. I don't think I like this. We might have to quit out. <laughs> Everywhere is flooded. Oh. This could give us a win. Oh, yeah. Actually, they can't play either cards. Yeah. We do win. Yeah, let's snap this, baby. They can't play anything. <laughs> and they can't move. Yeah. Everything's flooded. That Quake, that Quake Scorpion play screwed them up. And they snapped. What are they going to do? They can't play any cards. Why did they snap? That was an easy eight. My goodness. Oh, four. Oh, they didn't snap. Okay. They didn't snap. They just took the turn. They didn't snap. My bad. All right. First turn. We have Scorpion, Okoye, Forge, and Shang-Chi showing. Cause that costs one. Cannot be played in the Hellfire Club on the left location. Let's uh, end this turn. We don't have any cards to play right now. Who do they go for? First, Electra. That is... That is fine. All right, Westview turns into a new location. Could be anything. Let's go kind of... Uh, since Black Panther already popped, uh, let's not play Okoye. Let's kind of screw up their cards here. And instead of playing on Westview, because I don't know what location is going to go, let's play the Hellfire Club on the left side. They also go left side. Wolverine, they could be going for a destroy deck. Wolverine's not very valuable unless it's in a destroyed deck. All right, so this is where we actually want to play our Black Panther. Um, we could go Storm at this location. That'll give us four power. And let's go right here. They're going to play something here because this is going to end. And I guess we're kind of gambling to hopefully we get Jessica Jones on this. Let's see if we get uh, Jessica popping. Saber dude, they look like they're gonna destroy stuff here. Last turn for this one. Uh, Jessica, we got lucky. Jessica Jones popped, all right. There's Jessica, let's play her there. So let's see if we can steal this middle and then we can get Sheree's lap. If they don't play anything, they're just giving us the middle. Right, and, and Black Panther and Odin. We don't have Odin showing up yet, so we can't double the Black Panther power. 
All right, but we have a Mr. Sinister showing. So we're going to get American Chavez on the last turn. I think we go here. Black Panther to go up to eight. He'll double again. That'll go up to 16. American Chavez will have nine. That'll be an additional 18. I think we should be fine here. Let's see what they play here. They get, they have a Black Panther of their own. Eight, that goes up to 16. All right, so they're winning that location. I think we go America Chavez here. That gives us 11. They can still win it. I think they're going to play it on this Shuri's lab, though. I think they're thinking I'm going to play this. Actually, you know what? Let's do, let's go a little nasty here. Let's go Forge. That'll give him two. And then we'll screw up his Black Panther here. And they are going first. They get the reveal first. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get that. And this will be. Yeah, I like this play here. And I think we could snap. Unless they go as Shang-Chi and uh, counter us with another one. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, so this highlight around is, means that they're going first. They're going to uh, turn first. So I think this is a win. Let's get the snap. All right, they got an Odin. Yeah, we're going to take out their Sean. It's going to go up to 14. We're going to take out both of them. So they're just going to have Okoye and Hawkeye. Yeah, that Black Panther is dead. And that Odin is dead. There we go. Sean for the win. Love it. And then we get this location tied as well. So, yeah, that was a good snap. There it is. Black Panther, baby. And nothing to play yet on turn one. We have Weird World. Oh, this could be a problem. Let's stick in as long as possible, though. It looks like he's going with the destroyed deck. I don't want to destroy one of my cards here. So let's just quit out there. We may have to retreat on this one. This one, uh, yeah. All right, he's going to get some good Black Panther cards. We're not getting much. Let's go with Scorpion. Your weird, weird world is the worst, I think. Other than the one that gives you five rocks. All right, they still have a swarm in their deck. All right, you know what I actually like is this Angela play. And then a Nightcrawler on top of it. Then we can move the Nightcrawler and get more cards here. We get like a Mr. Sinister. Oh, no. Mr. Sinister wouldn't be great. They have a Nakia. They're giving more power to their cards. They might have had our... They might have our Black Panther in, our, in their hand right now. Uh, Ant-Man actually works well here. Let's go Ant-Man. And I don't want to destroy Jessica Jones or Sean chi So let's not play that Blade. All right, looks like the scorpion screwed up a lot of the Wakandans there. All right, Bishop, Bishop. Uh, when you play this, it's one power. We could go here. And yeah, we still don't have a, we still don't have a solid win condition yet that uh, we've seen in our hands. The rules, if you don't want a one card cause in Mojo World to prevent people from extra Killmonger destroying. Oh. Okay. So we have an America Chavez. So we could put America Chavez and Blade here. I think I think uh, this is. They don't have a Black Panther out. They don't have an Odin out. I'm trying to think what I had in my hand. There's nothing in my hand that's strong enough to get 13 power. They're pretty confident though. What do they have? They must have a strong Black Panther. Even if he's five, that'll be 10. Unless they had, unless they really charged it with Nakia, then they're gonna double here. So the play might be to avoid Titan. Let me let me take this back here. Might be to avoid Titan. I'm gonna go America Chavez here. Blade here. Let's try this. I, I think they're gonna go for Titan. I don't think they're gonna go to Mojo World. Oh, they played him on Mojo World. Okay, so we got America there. Blade there. And we win. They get the tie. We got the tiebreaker because we have more points in Weird World than them. All right. 
So that is my favorite deck that I'm using right now. Let me know in the comments if you are using a pool two deck that you're really enjoying. Obviously, because of the Black Panther and some of these other cards like Storm, doesn't really work as effective in pool one. And if you're in pool three, you could replace some of these cards with even more effective cards. Like I mentioned, Arnim Zola and Wong are two cards that pair very good with Black Panther. And as you saw in some of these examples, even when we don't get Black Panther in this deck, we still do manage to win because of all the little contingencies that we have built into place with cards like Iron, uh, with cards like Iceman and Scorpion. Jessica Jones Storm is a powerful, powerful combo. And then having that flexibility with America Chavez on the end usually does some good stuff for us as well. So that is my favorite deck. Let me know your favorite deck. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Snap content. We cover Marvel gaming on this channel, including Marvel Snap and Marvel Strike Force. So if you want more of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you get more, uh, so you get notified as soon as a new video goes up. I will see you guys next time. Have yourself a great day. Have a great weekend and give me that Hulk fest before you go. Valley flying out.